Good morning and thanks for joining us. After a weekend of testimony and closing arguments, a jury returns a verdict against Cardell Hayes in New Orleans. Guilty. It took the jury 12 hours to convict Hayes of manslaughter and attempted manslaughter after killing former Saint Will Smith and shooting his wife Raquel. He was found not guilty on a third charge of aggravated criminal damage to property. Right now, sentencing is scheduled for February 17th. Hayes faces 40 years in prison. Later this morning, families and friends will say their goodbyes to former John Curtis standout and NFL player Joe McKnight. You'll remember he was gunned down after a road rage incident in New Orleans back on December 1st. Visitation starts at 9 in New Orleans with the funeral service and burial to follow. Your Monday forecast is significantly warmer this morning as you head out the door. Temperatures in the upper 50s, lower 60s, and so far fog is not problematic, but that could change later this morning. Be alert and drive safely. Otherwise, we're expecting a sun cloud mix, a few scattered showers, 30% to 40% coverage warming into the mid 70s. Overnight, scattered showers, patchy fog after midnight with a low of 62. Tomorrow looks like an umbrella day. Showers likely, but only a slight chance of thunderstorms and a high of 74. A close race in Baton Rouge ends with a historic victory. With the 4,200 vote lead, Sharon Weston Broom edged out Senator Bodie White. Broom's win is one for the books as she's the first black woman elected mayor president in East Baton Rouge. Broom delivered an enthusiastic victory speech, telling the crowd she'll focus on growing businesses and police reform. That includes preparing for the looming Justice Department ruling on the Alton Sterling case. The other big election in our area was won by a landslide. Longtime state treasurer John Kennedy easily claimed the last remaining Senate seat over opponent Foster Campbell. The senator-elect spent much of the campaign season talking about his conservative beliefs, and he says he wants to bring change to Washington. A handful of taxes aimed at fixing roads and improving mental health all fail in the end. That includes an expansion of the city's green light program, which would have brought in an additional $20 million to improve roads. A tax had to help fund Parish Mental Illness Crisis Center failed by just 140 votes. And the widely supported hotel occupancy tax also failed to win over voters. A handful of taxes aimed at fixing roads and improving mental health all fail in the end. That included an expansion of the city's green light program, which would have brought in an additional $20 million to improve roads. A tax that to help fund Parish Mental Illness Crisis Center failed just by 140 votes. And the widely supported hotel occupancy tax also failed to win over voters. Another disaster recovery center is shutting down, as feds say the needs for them is diminishing. We're told the Disaster Recovery Center at the Old Neighbors Bank in Central will close its store this Tuesday. FEMA says not enough people are taking advantage of the resources. If you are registered with FEMA and still need answers, you can still visit one of the other centers for help. We have a link with those details in the links mentioned section of WFB.com. And for some good news for people in Denham who had to find a different grocery store. The Rouse's at Jubin Crossing in Denham Springs is preparing to open its doors following the flood. That was one of the stores that took on a lot of water in August. The Rouse's CEO says that it will be opening back up this Wednesday with only minimal changes to the layout. Did the Russians have a hand in getting Donald Trump elected? That's what the CIA says. But now a bipartisan group of senators are calling for an independent investigation. All this as President-elect Trump continues to fill out his administration. Coming up, a community comes together to help light up the sky, making sure one Christmas tradition continues in Assumption Parish. And a girl fighting cancer finds support in a dog from an unlikely home.